robot pets and cars that know your favorite restaurant. This is the kind of technology on display at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Thousands of spectators have turned out to get a glimpse of the latest gadgets. And Scripps News correspondent Jason Bellini is live in Las Vegas. And Jason, yesterday you showed us electric skis. What should we have our eyes on today? Hi, Laura Jane. Well, I've got more electric for you. So the floor just opened uh, about an hour ago here in Las Vegas, and uh, the first thing that I was really drawn to was this. This is an electric vertical takeoff vehicle, in other words, like a flying car. And believe it or not, this thing's going to be available in the next month or two. And David Chimchon, he's here with me right now to tell me a little bit more about this. And it only weighs about 250 pounds. And so that means you don't need a license. You don't need anything. You can just fly this thing, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. So it being under 254 pounds, no pilot's license required whatsoever. And we designed this to be able to land and take off from the water. So it's appealing a lot to yacht enthusiasts as well. Right, that's who you're looking to sell this to, right, initially, is people who are on their yachts. They got the money because it's about $300,000, right? Yes, sir, 100%. Okay, can you show me the controller? Yeah, so these are the basic controls here. So this is where you would be able to take off and set your altitude. And then you have very simple controls for maneuvering around. So you can pitch and yaw in all the different good directions you'd want to do. <laughs> okay, now this is just a mock-up, but the real thing, you're going to be flying it, and you've flown in the real thing already. And yes. Oh, and I think one thing that's really important is over here, you have a parachute in case things go terribly wrong, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. So we have three ballistic parachutes, two in the back, one in the front. Gotcha. All right, can I get in real fast? Uh, I'm going for it. <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh. Oops. Oops. Okay, well, here I am inside of this thing, and I tell you, um, this would be a lot of fun. And uh, again, only 250 pounds. That's really remarkable that you have something that is so light that you could put on your yacht. I'm planning to get one of these for my yacht, absolutely. And uh, one other thing, David, that you told me about was racing, that you're planning to do racing of these things. Yes, sir, absolutely. So we have a league man drone racing that we're going to be doing. We're giving these crafts to a lot of celebrity teams, and we're going to be debuting that at the end of the year. Wow, so this could become a sport. Yes, sir, absolutely. Okay. And I mean, it's not impossible to also imagine this becoming military tech, dual use. So it's very exciting, and I'd love to fly in one of these things, and it's going to be possible very soon. Back to you, Laura Jane. <laughs> All right, Jason, well, make sure you get video if you get to do the test drive. Scripps News correspondent Jason Bellini, thanks for showing us some of the latest technology.